Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 1 with help from Cool Pro 195. And in this part, I know we said that in the last part we'd start with the high road for this part, but then we figured we'd go and do whole hold as we checked part 2. And we found out that we didn't do whole hold, so anyways, we're going to do whole hold now just to get out of the way, then we'll do the high road. So yeah, sorry for that little bit of in inconvenience people, so moving on. Let's just quickly do whole hog. Which is the harder level of uh the harder level of of Hogwarts. Of Hogwarts, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't get the gem for this, so. Yeah. We're supposed to do this level after sunset this way. But, I've done a, yeah, and please do not ask why, we just don't know why we did it. For some reason I skipped to Guala well, Bomb, must have forgotten about this level or something. didn't get all the boxes. The pig missed the trampoline. <laughs> the pig missed the trampoline. Pe Pedro's a hog. Whatever. The hog. The pig hog missed the trampoline. <laughs> well, they both act the same way. <laughs> yeah. And they make the same noises. So yeah, basically a hog is a kind of pig. <laughs> you really think that? it take to respawn? It's a black screen. How long does it take to bring Crash back to life? Oh, so this is the third time, Pete. Yeah. Just put him in the box. Apologies for this piece of bullshit I mean, going on. Don't want to repeat the last part, and this half of the missed part. Trampoline with, the, with those massive holes. Make sure you hold it. You know, all those little bomb roll type things. You just hold X in order to jump higher. And basically, that's about it. Spike Stuff 95 did some sort of trick where you can skip the bomb rolls and, and get to the other side. I missed that. <laughs> you missed another box. Heard I missed the box again. I know. Yeah, yeah. we've got that. No point at the obvious. <laughs> I don't always do it. But you sometimes do it. Yeah, because of bullshittery. Why should you never wear bullshittery all the time? Because it is. Because <laughs> it is bullshit happens. <laughs> Let's hope no bullshittery happens, which causes me to miss a box. I don't know, I think about the top of it. Mishap after mishap part 2. Oh, we should call this bullshit happens. No, that's just a silly title. 
No, it isn't. The bullshit keeps happening. It's not happening that far, too. Bullshit happens, the sequel to mishap after mishap. Bullshit. Bullshit happened. Yeah, let's call it that. Bullshit. Come on, Dad Darrow again. Dad Darrow again. We seriously apologise for this crap, people. This is not our fault. Yeah. Look at this fucking game. Apologies for the bad language. Bad language. Bad language. Oh. Bad language. I swear that's a waterfall you said. Bam. Why did this look like that? I don't know, let's go with this off and this off and this Then the title will be longer. Bullshittery we went through. It's finally paid off that bullshit. This shall not happen again. Yep, it shall not happen again. We got ten, ten levels to go. And now we're on the high road. Yeah, true say. Why do you say the word true say? Well, I say it all the time. Try not to pull the fuse in. Yeah, just try not to. Anyway, that's that done. It turns out to be a bullshittery of a level for this LP. Anyways, as promised, we're doing the high road now. And this is a, uh, a one of these levels. I wasn't technically a promise, we're doing it because we have to do it because it's an LP. That's it. And yeah, this is the second level where we're on this high bridge with all the spikes below it. Mm. And yes, you can do the tricks as you can from road to nowhere. So yeah, it's basically the same type of gimmick. Same type of criteria. Oh, who's using my criteria? I've never used that one. I've never used that one before. Because I never used it to describe anything. Uh, Check them. So yeah, it's the first time we get a tourna bonus round in one of these high road levels. I don't want to call it the high road, but you call it the high bridge because this isn't technically a road; it's a bridge. Is that cheating? No, it's not cheating. You can actually do that. I thought oh, it was cheating though, wasn't it? Oh yeah, again, this stupid hole, which tries to kill her. Hey, it's the, stu the stupid thing is that you can't kill him, but he can kill you. Even if you have a blocking mask, he can still kill you straight away. That's not technically fair, is it? That's not fair at all. Yeah, and there's also a box up here. Really easy to miss. Wow. And here we are 
again the slip this late. And the bonus round. No. Hopefully no more bullshit mishaps can happen. Hopefully. I thought you were going to miss for a second, I was like, oh god, what are you doing? <laughs> so far so good. Yeah, even though we don't have to get all of these, we can just get that and we obviously can't break that because if we do, we die. 17% into the game. Yes, I'm moving on. To finish the rest of the level. Just like you do with any other bonus round. Yeah. But yeah, just like you do after every bonus round. That's what I, what I meant to say. It's not technically cheating. No, it's not cheating. I didn't even use the rope once. I didn't even walk on the rope once. Did you see it? Just did it. Did the normal casual Yeah, the minutes. So yeah, we got the gem, as you can see. So I've got ten ten gems left and one key left. And also come to you hundred percent. Now I've done the high road now. This is the heart, what, the heart of this level ball. Yeah, one of the many ways. Most hard to do. There is a harder level than this. Yeah, it's me a cent. Yeah, that's in the... Well, that level's been taken out in the final version, but... In order to play it in the final version, you have to enter some code into some... into this cheating device and an emulator to play it. I don't know if you can um, play it on actual console, but... However, Stormy Ascent is in the beta prototype and you don't need to put any codes for that. You can just play it. And you Straight can away. only get up to nine lives, not get any more than that. I know. Absolutely. isn't it? It's absolutely ridiculous. Nine lives? Is that all you can get? Nine lives is the limit. Yeah, for the beta prototype. And this level requires a lot of patience. Yeah. Anyways, in this level, we get the the gem we get is that pink gem. Yeah, we get the pink gem for this level. And pink or the red gem. It looks more pink to be honest, but let's call it the red or pink gem. Let's call it the red slash pink gem. Yeah, we get the red slash pink gem in this level, but in the Japanese version we get the red slash pink version in the more sick. As you see that, and if you've seen mine, if you've seen mine, Toby XY's gameplay slash let's play on Crash Bandicoot 1, the Japanese version, then you'll see that we didn't need to backtrack in order to go to Road to Nowhere to get that extra part. However, we did have to backtrack to, to Native Fortress. Anyways, after this we'll be back back into Native Fortress, Fortress, and then we'll be moving on to Road to Nova. Road to Nova? Yeah, to get our secret plot, go for that gem. When will we be able to talk Is it next week? So, yeah, yeah, probably when we get up to Brio. And then part 6. Was it part 5? Yeah, this part. What part is this? This is part four. Part five will do Bria and then part six will do four. So yeah, we've got two of the old ones at the moment. Made it through. And in the alternate end, you, uh, you ride away on one of those eagles. Yeah, and there's those hands and stuff that are sticking out of the cages. And here we are, the Brio bonus round of Slippery Climb. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, what the hell? Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, you didn't expect that to happen, did you? No. Did it turn well as well? Exactly. Slippery climb. Stormy ascent. They had mini games as well. Yeah, in the beta prototype. They had mini games in it, but then again you had to enter some code. You had to enter some codes into this cheap into this like cheap device for emulators. And they have a little uh waffle level as well. And in the cabin level. Yeah, and the cliff level. Both from the from the cut level. at the end of every Brio bonus. Yeah. I think this is where we're going. Somewhere around here. What the fuck? I jumped right on top of it. And I lost my clock. You got a life now. Seven life now. I actually made it this time. That's good. Keep it going. Keep it going. For some reason, all the human characters wear glasses because they're mad scientists. Why in the middle of Yeah, after all that bullshittery that's happened. 75%. Caught the gem. So yeah, now we're backtracking to Native Fortress. Wow. 
And where do we stop this uh, uh, this uh, part? <coughs> when we get up to Brio, I presume. Okay. And then we won't do anything beyond Brio. And then it's the lab, then it's the white wall money for the text. Yes, expect this to be a long part, people. Why? Because we've got a lot to do in this. Why else? <laughs> That's so fun. No, the way you said it, the way you said it, you know, you've got a lot to do. <laughs> this is not a long level. What is it you get up to do? What have we got? Let's go to that extra part, which is what we do. Well, it's true, we do have a lot to do. <laughs> I said it's because we've got a lot to do. <laughs> you said why? Because you've got a lot to do. <laughs> That's right. Anyways, move on. We don't want to keep on repeating ourselves if there's no end. We only died in that fire. I'm a, well, I lost my Aku Aku mask anyway. Oh, not in that again. Bullshittery happened straight away. Even I jinxed it. Never mind, my, 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 my children. No, I haven't. <laughs> what a waste. I'm straight what I feel like. <laughs> really? What have we got? Yes, really. We're going back to that really thing again. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what you do. Be rotunda. You know that brown people are rotunda. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh the red one that's called the rotunda. So I'm thinking that rotunda people went there. <laughs> Yeah. 
I used to call him a midget. No, they used to call him a midget, didn't they? Yeah, my friend Dustin. <laughs> what? Yeah, my friend Dustin. Yeah, no, they did. Yeah, we got. I went to stay in the office. What office was it? Mr. Kitchen's office. Oh, yeah, we stayed there for French as well. Where? When Ricky was knocking about. Yeah, well, that was good. Uh, he said, what's that? Was What's her name? Miss Cummings. She's taking the mic out of her. What did he say? I can't remember what he said. He used, he used to ask her if she was on drugs. <laughs> and he called her a druggie. <laughs> and he called her an old person. Oh yeah, he did as well. I remember. Uh, he called her an old person. He called her a pensioner. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what an old person is. What do you mean if she was on drugs? I don't know, to be crazy or something, which is why I think it's on drugs. to do this shit. Yeah, on the, the uh, Japanese version you did the frame limit. Yeah. The way you sped it up. Yeah, to speed the game up on the EPSXC emulator. You got another... Da -da -da. You, you, you got another six, six gems left and eight levels. Yeah. And one key off the frame. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, now I'm moving on to Roads and Nowhere. Road to Nowhere. Riding on the road to nowhere. Road to nowhere. The map from Paddy. Paddy. The best we can do in Danger. Capital, I've seen some advert. 
the program P Payton. Oh no, P Payton. Uh, called Max and Paddy, that's what it's called. And I've never seen it, but I'd like to see it. I wonder what it's about. About two guys. Okay, so anyways, back on the bridge people, same old stuff you've seen last time we encountered this level. But you'll see an extra part of this level coming up right soon. And you'll see that it's an extra bit of type of room. Like it looks like a segment that's been taken from the Lost City or Sunset Vista. And here we are, the gem which takes us to the to the root. Here's the cryptic part of the level, which is a very cryptic. Wow, you, you, you must avoid that. Let them die. Just jump there. Must trigger that switch in order to make that outline come into that box. Make sure you spin that when you're up there. You don't die. If you spin the you, TNT, if, if you don't spin any of them, then that box will, that outline box will not fill up into a box like this. Wow. And you have to get up there. Three extra lives as well. Unlock all these boxes. You're gonna get it. And it also creates another TNT in order to explode that one in the middle. Obviously, the game wouldn't want you to kill yourself, so it creates another T TNT next to that TNT. So anyway, it's just simply jump. Three lives. 92, you're seven oh, lives away from I could, I could all the way up there. And I, I'm surprised I actually managed to reach. To reach. And you're bit. seven lives away from nine, 99. That's the cryptic part of the level out of the way. Did the game just freeze them? Six lives away from 99 of the maximum. But you can't go beyond 99, you know. Yeah, if you do it right, but it don't stay that way forever. Uh, there, there. It kind of looks like a 10, but it's kind of a number at the end. Kind of yeah. like a 3. I'm... Oh, you've really died there. I oh, know. Do you see I'm very close to the edge? There are already would do that. It's not wise. If you're not professional. Anyway, it's going through here. It's just like a secret It's having these invisible bridges. Again, they're really good. Yeah, they give us two boxes around here. Simple as pie. As simple as pie, maybe. 97 What the? Oh, I was right at the end as well. Another level game. I cannot believe that happened. Pedro, you've got 97 lives now. Two lives away from 999. Really apologise for that, people. I really do. This is turn. This part is going into jeopardy seriously. So call it part, part, part four jeopardy. Yeah. How long you on now, Pedro? 96. Now you free lives when you're not too. Yo, oh, we should call this um bullshit and jeopardy happens. Yeah. Or jeopardy and bullshit happens. Do we have to do our secret areas again? Yeah, of course we do. Collect everything. Oh, sucks bad. You miss that one for it. We don't need to get the monster, we need to watch it. So anyway, this has been the cryptic part again. Yeah, anyways, I've already explained okay, you so guys what to, to do. So you don't need to explain it again. Yeah, as I was going to say. I so do not need to explain what we've got to do right now. As, as I've already explained this, and you've seen what I did, and you've seen it again, so... Yeah, you don't need me to explain it. No. What have we got? And now we don't have the invincibility, because we only had one, I can't complain, so... Now we have two. It's just, yes, this is literally nowhere. No. Yeah, literally nowhere. Alright, oh man. Okay, so. So. Sorry, guys, but we have to do this. Sorry that we have to do this, guys, but we have to split this 
part into two parts. Just, so. just complete the level, or I'll just play. He's coming, he's just finishing it. Oh. On second thought. Um, Actually, we gotta stop now, because we gotta stop the part now, so see you guys. I just died. Oh. Yes, anyways, we'll split this part into two. Hello everyone, welcome back to part four. And this is the second segment, seeing as we had to cut off from. Seeing as we had to split it into two segments, because I had to go. Anyways, we're back here now, continuing on with the part. And Pedro has a good news for you. Regarding the, um, not the LP, the, uh, uh, I've got the better prototype now. Yeah, we've got... Yeah, I managed to bring my USB memory stick and put the PSX fin emulator on my memory stick. And... And I got Crash Bandicoot 1, the beta prototype, along with it. And I put it on his laptop. And we'll be doing an LP of that soon. Capturing it through debut, as we said before. And Pedro is doing that as an LP as well. Uh, an unspecified time. Yeah, well, actually it's more of a play. It's, it's actually a playthrough. Basically an LP of our commentary. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, anyways, seeing as you guys have already seen this, and I've already explained it to you in the previous segment, you can basic, you basically know how it works. Just watch me do it, and you know. Perfectly logical explanation that I've explained in the previous segment. So yeah, we're down back down to eleven lives now. Seeing as we started we reloaded the slot. So from ninety something lives till eleven lives. Major suckage. Anyways coming back. Yeah, the rope is risky, though. yeah, there's me using the rope to get my way across. And but it's and good for speedrunning. As well as do it, to doing it with the conventional way, which is on the bridges. Yeah. Well, technically, the rope is part of the bridge. Yeah, I suppose so. You can't kill that hog. No. He's irritating us. And for those of you who don't know how to get use the turtle to bounce over there, just use the rope, if, if you can use the rope that is, if or if you lose the turtle then try to jump as far as possible, anyways I think this is the part I failed on, when I was coming back, don't remember on Monday, it was like, uh, it was bullshit after bullshit, Bullshit happens, that's it. That's mishap what or mishap? Yeah, that's part, that's part three, this is part four. Bullshit happens. Yeah. Anyways. Now, then, seeing as there's no bullshit in that run, we actually made it, and we got the gem. Which is a relief. Nine in gems and, uh... One key. Mm. And yes, we go back to the slot we were on, whichever one it was. It was 76 on keys. Yeah, there it was. Yeah, seeing as we reloaded the slot, yep. it tells us to search for it again. We'll, we'll need to edit it in, in one long video now. Yeah. Well, what level do you now? So now moving on to lights out. Oh crap, we have to do slippery climb again. Well, the good thing is that we don't have to do it without dying because we've already got the gem, so just a simple run will do fine. It doesn't matter, we've already got the gem. I remember a quail that shouting out to some guy that did a speed run on this level, but I can't remember the name of the guy that quail that shouted out. I can't remember his name. But the quail is amazed and yeah. 
the clay looks just like him. Uh, how can you speed run it? It's a hard level. Well, it, well, you can't. Not, it's just impossible. You can't. How can you speed run, speed run a level that's the hardest one in the world? Yeah, you can't. Or can you? I'm not sure if I can. I can do as quickly as possible, but I don't know if it'll be classified as a speed run. There is a hard version of this called Stormy Ascent. Yeah, and, we'll be, and you'll see us play that in the beta prototype LP. And uh, it, I think it's up to nine lives. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, in the part three video, you forgot to put Cool Pro 195 in the title. Oh. Yeah, it says, it says with help from part three, <laughs> instead of with help from Cool Pro 195 part three. You must have cut it out or something. I must have forgotten to do it. Let's have no chittering in the people. Yeah. Like Shit. getting hit by those uh, lava systems at the top. Don't worry, they can't hit me. All they do is just throw those crystal shaped bombs. guys have seen, have ever played Crash Bandicoot Free Walk then you got the bazooka, yeah, that's what the bazooka sounds like when it's shooting, and we don't have to restart the level as I said, because we've already got the gem, so it don't matter. Or if you don't want to watch us play this level again, then skip to the part where we finish this level, yeah, as you know. Do it if you please. I think you just went into the bonus round where you had invincibility. Well, I didn't have invincibility, I just went into the bonus round. Oh, so I was 369. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't even manage, but fine. Did you? Yeah. Have you got... You, you haven't got collection 2, then? No. That's only on Xbox, man. Well, I've got collection 1. Oh, yeah, you got that from Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Yeah, I've told you about the premium membership as well. It's yeah. 39 a year, I think it is, for a year or something. Yeah, get a DLC and all sorts of stuff. And all sorts of cool stuff. Do you remember any of the other things? Like, possibly um, just a few. Uh, Call of Duty TV with Ridley Scott and, uh, up, other talent. Um, clans and, uh, and all of the free membership stuff. Sounds good. Sounds I've got it in the Modern Warfare 3 um, book, I think, on the back. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's Slippery Climb done for there the second go. time. Now moving on to Lights Out. That's it, there, if you want to put it later. Yeah, so if you want to put it later, you can. Yeah, so basically Lights Out is where crashes in the dark and Oku Oku is used as a light in this level. So if you spin the box, Aku Aku turns into a massive light, but but you must be careful. You shouldn't like wait for too long, otherwise the light will go out. Yeah, the light will instantly go out. It will go out. It will fade slowly. 
And in Crash Bandicoot 2, Aku Aku is not a light sword. <laughs> it's Bug Light. Yeah. Oh, you you died there. You know, when it's uh well when <laughs> Yeah, when the light is faded away, completely faded away, you'll not be able to see where you are going. And you might die from it. Yeah. You're more well, you're most likely to die in the darkness. Because there are a lot of things in this level that are in the dark. And yeah, these little moles right here, they're not really important. All you do is just spin them around, just like any old enemy. And watch out for these blades as well, they can just take... Even if something hits you, and you have a Kwaku mask, you can still lose your life. You lose your light instantly if you lose your Akwaku mask, because that is literally the light. And if the light gets sliced out, you're doomed. Well, you're not doomed, but you'll probably die. That was quick. This match that bit done. And by the way, we'll be backtracking here after we get the... Three Perry Mystery Boxes. Yeah, I know. I'm just explaining that. After we get to the... After we get the yellow gem from the lab, backtrack, coming from the great gate to lights out. So Jaws of Darkness. To get those three boxes. Anyways, moving on to Jaws of Darkness. Let's get the second key in the Cortex bonus round. I'll, I'll have to say that. Oh, oh no. bottle. Spinach. Spinach. Careful your fire, you don't want to burn your ass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I already said you already said that once. I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh shit. Don't want to don't get your ass burnt. No worries. You, you don't need to restart yourself, do you? No, because I haven't had a checkpoint yet. And if you die after the checkpoint, you have to uh, start again. Yeah, of course you can. some kind of, would you say, temple ruin? Yeah, a ruined temple. Temple with room, a lot of rooms in it, as you can tell. The state in the obvious of the previous level that was a lot like this. That had the same type as this level called temple ruins. But of course that's key. Yeah. First quarter's temple. And if you die now, then you have to start the level over again. As we yeah. Blue gem path. Anyways, going back to the blue gem path through here. Can you get a blue gem? No. We just take they're just a blue gem platform taking us to all these alternative areas. Right. And do not forget guys that there is a box right up here and it's very easy to miss so in case you're completing this 100% make sure when you're standing on here you jump and you hit that box. Do you hear that noise? That was a box breaking. So yeah, that's basically what I explained to you so that's what you guys will probably find out when you conquer this level. So and if you conquer it, yeah. Well, if you get the blue gem and toxic waste and you somehow get to this part then. Do you know we have to redo toxic waste? No. Oh, we don't get a gem up there. We've already got the gem and toxic waste, don't you remember? We got the blue gem from it. Yeah, I remember now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, oh, did you see that glitch where it crashes going from side to side? Oh, oh, you're having a laugh. Let's restart the level now. Oh, bullshit. Sorry, guys, that was failure. Pure failure. The bullshit till he strikes back. Yep. Area scene as I've explained so much. Mm. Oh, yeah, do you know the Big Brother story? Yeah, I'll be at the end. Did you watch it? No. There's, there's this guy called Chris and he sounds funny. He's got a funny voice. Oh, the Corsage Key again? Yeah. Oh, young the last! Not again. We don't really start the level again. Bullshittery after bullshit. Maybe we should call that call it that part, mate. Maybe we should call it bullshittery strikes back. In a humorous pun to the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. If you pardon the pun. If you pardon the pun. Oh shit. We try again. At least I didn't get a check for that this time. Oh, that still don't get us in. Oh, you jumped right over it. You didn't need it. <laughs> I know. It's like they put it there for show. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing at what I'm saying. <laughs> what is that? It's like they put it there for show or something. If I'm not even going to use it, it's like they put it there for show. Recent bullshittery happened. Where the bullshittery strike back. In a humorous pun to the Empire Strike Back. If you'll pardon the pun. Oh, sorry. If you'll pardon the pun. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It just happened. Do what? Like, no one heard you. <laughs> Don't worry, no one heard you. So it's all right. <laughs> It's just funny as a noise, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know why you're, I can see why you're laughing. <laughs> Did you miss the box? No, I've got that box up there. Oh. What are we doing? Yes, here we are, back here again. The same so, my casual stuff. I'm gonna just wait so I can get the invincibility from that. Oh shit, you're having a laugh. Oh, you're having an even bigger laugh. <laughs> Had her moaning again. <laughs> her always moans at things like that. <laughs> well, well, yeah. come on, wouldn't you do the same? <laughs> of course I would. Exactly. So that you proved your point. So I don't always say that. Yeah. Even Barry would have moved. But you guys don't know him, so you don't know what we were on. So never mind who we're on about. You're just someone that we know. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah.
I'm back to it for the fourth time, you know. Fourth time lucky. Yes, Not a blooper video. If this is a blooper video, I'd understand. I'd absolutely understand if it is. We sang it in toxic way. Not toxic way, he's caught it out at the end. Where he bounced on those four boxes. Mm. Yeah, I did what he did. You did a, a remix. Lot. And start his checkpoint then you have to restart it. Yeah. And then dump in. Okay, so make sure you do not spin this cobra in here. Because if you do, do you then then you'll lose a Cortex, Cortex okay. token that's hidden inside that question mark box you see before you. So just simply spin that, jump on top of the snake, and your worries are over. Yeah. Worried a true grand true no. She has to follow this bump of fruit right here leading to this park. And this and is the third Cortex token. And if you fail this bonus round then you can't get the uh, the key. Yeah, if you want to get the key and you fail this bonus round, you're pretty much screwed. You have to do the level all over again. Sorry about that. I'm stating the truth here, not, not trying to Oh shit, I'm screwed. Well you have to start the level again now. Yeah. Oh shit. Well I don't have to start the level all over again now. I just can't get the key. Yeah, that's it. I can still get the gem. So, what do you have to do to get the key? What do you think? We start the complete the Cortex bonus, of course. Well, why can't I get the key? Because I just failed the Cortex bonus. Oh man, can you restart the level? After you finished it, obviously. <laughs> restart it after you finished it. Obviously, you're gonna. I'll just. You know, I can just start it again. So What's the point to like, restart it after you finish it? <laughs> so, yeah, I thought you were going to fall down the hole there, and I was like, I'm okay. Otherwise, I would have failed this bonus round too. So, you've got four levels left. And that would have sucked a lot. Three. You've got about five levels left and a couple mm. of gems. 84% complete. Yes, here we are. 84%. Draw the dot. Can't you believe it? Our previous version of this LP, we didn't do it 100%, and now we're doing it 100%. Yeah. And our remastered one. Can you believe it? Oh, oh, Shh! Oh, so close to you. But you can still get the gem though, she's all right. Yeah, we got the gem. Yeah, that's good news. Now we redo this level so that we don't have to. So that um, we do the, we do the so we get the key. So we don't have to break the boxes. Twenty gems and one key. So you need 
Yeah, so six gems and five levels and one key. Yeah, so now I can skip that blue gem path. Because <coughs> yeah, we don't have to get all the boxes anymore. We should have done it. So. Yeah, what about five minutes? Five minutes bullshit. <coughs> Dark. Jaws of Darkness. Anyways. The Jaws of Darkness. I'm going to Thunder in the Dark. You never know. We might split this part into three segments. Then this part will even be longer. We've still got more levels to do. I want Thumbnail in the Dark now. Well, not now. We're going to do it when Cost we get the key. We're on Castle Machine. This ain't Castle Machine. This is Jaws of Darkness. No, that is when we're on Castle if we don't do something in the dark, yeah, then, then, then we're doing coffee. We, we can't be the life bits in Pajamba at 99. Well, you can get the life, but it won't do a glitch. Yeah. That only works if you have 99 lives. Which we have done numerous times. Yeah. You're rubbing your eyes around. I know, it's itchy up. Well, if you do that, it doesn't make it better, does it? <laughs> it, makes know, it, it makes the itch go away, though. Well, it makes it, make it worse. Yeah, it sure makes it worse and it sure makes it better. Yeah. Uh, of course it's like one. Uh, uh, I don't have to break all the boxes. Oh, we need to fail there. So close. I thought you were going to fall there. I thought, oh god, perfect. I'm going to die. <laughs> Not necessarily. I've already got the gem. Maybe yeah, we are skipping that blue gem card. No, we don't need to do it. Oh shit, snap it into oh, I pressed the X button, seriously. Your controller is fucked up. I'm going to start the level again, I thought you had to. Mm -hmm. You've only got the gem. You only do that if you're gonna get the gem. Oh, oh, so close. Did you do a No, I didn't do a glitch. I just avoided those doors. Well, not doors, but them slamming doors. Yeah, I might have to. With squash. Uh, stop off this level, can I? Yeah, because we've only got like. Below five minutes. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you're not a you to that spot. I wish you had time. What, three minutes per hour? You better have quick. You don't better run this. Yeah, you better run this. You're not literally run it, but you know. Yeah, you know. No, there are two ways. You can go this way or the other way. I'm taking this way. No, caught it, I've clung. Yes, let's do this as quickly as we can and try not to fault that fail. You can do it, this crash, come on. So, yeah, we collect the second key for this level. Now, moving on. We can hear the port in the distance. And we've made it. Well, we could do, we could do that. And now we got the key. We are out. Of here. You could have got the other boxes. We don't have to. Two out of two keys, twenty out of twenty-six gems. Those boxes don't really count for anything, so you don't have to get them. Well, we've got four levels left to do after this part. After the next part. Yeah, and by the way, in the beta. In the beta prototype of Crash Bandicoot 1, you don't have to get all the boxes because you don't earn anything. You don't even you don't earn gems, keys, you don't earn anything. So the boxes are pretty much worthless getting in the beta prototype. Even though even though us hundred percent players are used to doing it because that was how this final version was made. But is originally the boxes are originally going to be worthless. So we've done this level pretty much. So until oh, we didn't get the gem. Worth something. We already got it. Remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yes. Anyways. 
program now, I'm the door. We're going into fumbling in the dark, but I don't know if I have time for that because we're below three minutes, so see you guys in the next segment of this part. The next level will be fumbling in the dark. Which yeah. is the harder level of lights out. See you guys in the third segment. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to the third segment, and we are starting off fumbling in the dark, which is the harder version of Lights Out. And yep. we've unlocked it in the pre in the previous segment, as you just saw. Now anyways, we are just going to walk back here, and then we'll go over here, seeing as there's a hidden area over here, full of Aku Akus and live boxes, and it's really hard to do. And you can see pictures of all apes on the wall, on the walls. You can see them just literally hanging on the wall. And it's quite hard to get past those arches, so you must really be careful. Oh, they actually put candles over there. Well, then... Doesn't this... Well, then, if it has candles, then why do we have an Aku Aku mask that gives us light? What can the candle give us light? Yeah, but the things that... The candles are, like, in this game are apparently too weak to give out all, all the light we need. So we, this is why we have Aku Aku. He has a stronger. He has he has a stronger amount of light. Okay. Gotta be extra careful here, seeing as this is a dead hard level. Well, not not a professional. <laughs> I know, but just in case you're attempting it 100%, just watch out for all the, all those little, like, obstacles around the level, like the swinging blades and all that crap, and these small platforms, just try to run, land on them correctly, see anything happen, just like that, and, and just because of that, I have to restart level, because we don't have the gem, and we get in the gem. Fumbling in the dark, aka hard version of light. Yeah, as we mentioned earlier. Now to to actually do this type of level without the Akraku, you have to be You'll have to like memorize all the obstacles and stuff, like where everything is and all that. That kind of stuff. Ooh. Fate accident. Yeah, fight fight. Oh come on! This is not really fair, is it? See what I mean about those arches, they're so irritating. <laughs> Books are irritating. Well, they are designed to be irritating. You see, I How jumped. How many do you want? I jumped and they pushed me down. <laughs> <laughs> they are moaning it. Moaning it again. Well, what would you do the same? Of course I would. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know why he's saying that about me. <laughs> so how many failures did you I actually have? Pain? I don't say that about you. Anymore. I don't really know. I haven't been counting. <laughs> I haven't been counting. <laughs> oh, shh. Shit. At least I got no checkpoint. I've <laughs> got the checkpoint. I know, I said at least I got no checkpoint. That's what I basically said, and do not get trapped in that hole, otherwise you are gay. You are gay? Did you say you are gay? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, it was just something that came into my head. <laughs> I just thought I'd call him that, just to get out of my system, because it just feels really annoying. Bugs you. Yeah, it just feels annoying when things like this happen, so you just feel like you just say any random swear word and it just <laughs> instantly takes all the annoyingness, all the annoying, all the anger right out of you. You're doing pretty well at the moment. I know. Like when some people are in the hospital, like for example. Well, I'm not bringing up hospital now, but in case someone is in pain, they, they'd obviously like swear and all that, and this. It's like they're acting as if swearing kills the pain. But it doesn't, does it? I know, but they're just swearing for the sake that it hurts. Heather, you can't die now, though, you have to start all over again. I know, because I've just got a checkpoint. If this was on an emulator, it'd be a lot easier to do. Because it would take 
Added spiders hanging from roofs. In order to confuse you. Well, they do that in order to get you, in order to make you get across. Yeah, another checkpoint just hit. Yeah. Oh, did you see that light glitch? <laughs> yeah. When I, you know, when I touched that mole and it went into an Aku Aku mask and did some sort of light glitch. The light just flashed. And here we are at the end of the level. Finally made it. And we got a gem. Hooray for us. Just need to get five gems and four levels. Yes, anyways. Now moving on to castle machinery. And again, can't copy the glitch because you haven't got 989 lines. Yeah. But if you did, then you could do the one. Why do I say something's wrong? Da da! Okay, so here we are guys. Now, in order to get here, you need to get the green gem from the Lost City, or in a Japanese version from Hogwild. So yeah, and there's a I would go down there if I had 99 lives, but then cannot do the life glitch because I do not have 99 lives. 56 lives now. Yeah, so that gives us 56 lives, but we're going to do this level properly because we're going to get the gem. And we need to clear gem. People and it's the same type of level as heavy machinery, but it's again it's harder. Same principle, just hard, just a well, hard. They just stepped up the difficulty. Uh, don't step on those flaming platforms. Yeah, don't and even touch one of them. The blue ones are safe, but the red ones are not. Yeah, even though there are rarely any blue ones in this one. And there are more reds than blues, so that's a negative on this level. Must be careful, this is like some sort of puzzle where you have to avoid all these green pipes. Red pipe. Red pipes, I meant to say. Why does it say green pipes? Because <laughs> green pipes are not in this level. I'll be steam again. Anyways, it's just a little grammar error I made in my mouth. Just a little speech error I made. It's okay to touch me if you have invincibility, obviously. But the invincibility does not last long, as you already know. It's all like some sort of party music. Don't step on that. Oh, no, otherwise, you must Don't have move. quick reflexes, otherwise, you'll, you'll get burnt. Yeah, you'll get burnt by those pipes and lose your uncracking masks or die. He added two extra six to the sky on, on the uh, Xbox. Yeah, added him on Xbox Live. Even though it's shit, you have to pay for Xbox Live Gold, which is ridiculous. So you don't pay for Xbox Live Gold? No, it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all get PlayStation Plus then? Yeah. Because at least there's something in it for you. Unlike Xbox, where they con you out of money. Yeah, at least they give you freebies. They give you freebies as well, PlayStation Plus, you know. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, some things are free in PlayStation Plus, and ones that don't have PlayStation Plus, they have to pay for it. You died. <laughs> You didn't yeah. die, you just uh... I lost my croquet mask. But uh, you got one though. Yes, you just, just have to wait for the two to come these. now. Wait for these two, and anyways, it's okay to do that in the speedrun, so that's actually quite helpful. 
Oh, no, we need to that. I know, I nearly fell off. See that? see on the left hand, left hand side there's the beginning of the level and we've got the gem in the level so that's done got the green gem now moving on to brio is the it brio, yeah the brio boss fight now so it's the lab next no it's the brio boss fight then the labs after that so it's the last level then and then we can upload all these parts yeah put them together and upload them we might not have time for that though well we might you don't know <coughs> yeah in the beta prototype of Crack Bandicoot 1, in the Nitrous Brio boss fight, he's unbeatable. there's a glitch where you cannot beat him. He's unbeatable. And the Nitrous Brio. Oh, Nitrous Brio, as yeah. some people say. Yeah, just got my controller there. And there he is with his little potion cups. Now first and he's the Hulk at the end. Yeah, now first he's going to start getting one potion cups and another. Then he starts to throw this one green potion cup. And all you have to do is jump on top of those green blobs you see before you. And then he throws a red one, make be sure to dodge them, they do not have those. Now he throws two, so jump on the top of the two of them. But where some idiots have done in their LPs, they actually spun the blobs, which is actually no help, because spinning the blobs would not do anything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. yeah just you. you must be careful, watch out for these blobs, because they are like. Because they can come. Because they can come at any oh uh, any side. <laughs> so it's a stupid thing to spin these blobs. Make sure they're all like together. Or or you, if you can't stand them when the they're like cream. if you can't stand them when they're just there. If they're jumping around, then just wait for them to settle down and stay in one place. Right, that's three lights left. Yeah, 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 it's first string of them. MB, it says MB on the floor, we're, we're the skull. Yeah. Okay, so now we can jump on top of these bricks and then jump on top of his heads. He's now a Hulk type creature. Yeah. And basically do the same thing until he's dead. Jump to his head and he's down. Oh, However, there's, it. there's a glitch where he just keeps on coming. You do not hit in his head. You just stay on the brick. And you keep on moving to one brick to another. And he comes faster and faster each time. And does that same there retarded the noise. I know. Do that same retarded noise all over again. Now anyway. We'll we'll the lab until now. we cannot do it. Anyways, we're not doing the lab right now because, as you guys can see, this is the end of the part now. So, finally, so see you guys at the end. So see you guys in part five. Bye. This is where we will be starting off with the lab and getting the yellow gem. So see you guys in part five. Bye. Bye.